This was just released by... They're Cada. just giving them free, what are they called? Cada. Cada. So it's like Chinese Lego 8.6. Chego. And we're giving them a free plug because we think this thing is really cool. Looks Chego. Like a <laughs> it looks like a real yeah. camera. <laughs> Find it on the internet somewhere. Yeah. It's not mine, it's Daryl's. Daryl spent seven hours building it? Seven. Yeah. Seven, seven hours. hours and it even has a little 4AGE. It's not licensed, so it has some dodgy Your stickers. stickers that yeah. Put on. But you know what it is. It looks cool. We've done the exhaust the other day. Well, we tacked it together, but then you went off and welded it on your own because it was just easier to do that. Yeah. So there's a little bit of a blow action going on here for, from where it's been welded. So Josh is going to patch it up. And then we're going to titanium wrap this and hope for the best. Then we can put this on, put on the exhaust, and then that part of the car is finished. Brian is still doing the wiring, so he's coming out here on his own doing some work and then he just sends me pictures of him doing work so the loom is nearly tidied up he's uh, got all the wires out to the front mocked this up the other night there's the original front bumper just put on the bumper brackets there's the uh, front lip so Daryl has just spotted so Josh put this uh, flexi on this and we've been kind of trying to clean it up the idea today was to get it ready for wrapping but it's it's after cracking in about three or four places. That's underneath where they had it welded before. Yeah, so it was repaired in Japan. I bought this off somebody up the country and they didn't tell me that it was cracked or welded. So they mm, kind of shafted yeah. me a little bit. And there's a crack there. Underneath so, that Yeah, there's a well. crack underneath, there's a crack it's here. here. And it's spreading down the side. Yeah. And we've only driven this around the business park probably like twice. So, I mean, if it's cracked already, when we heat wrap it, it'll probably fucking really ruin it. Right underneath as well. Might just have to buy a new fucking manifold. Matt, isn't that how brittle it is? Maybe the thing is just fucking, but it looks quite new. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what do you do? You see there. Looks like it's actually nearly about to break off, like it's nearly the whole way around. That's a big, that's a big fucking. Not impressed. It's that one's nearly the whole way around, isn't it? Is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. And that one is. Well. Should have made him out of mild steel. We'll have to get those titanium ones made now. Yeah. Lovely. All the way it's a bummer. It must be stressed out of mind. From what? Because the flexi take the slack off with like. Mmm. Mmm, that's a dose. What's going on inside here? Oh! All our nice effort and care to get it, to get it right. So this is fucked. So our night of doing something with this is not, not what's happening. So it goes back in here now. Mind that sensor. And now I'm going to go through my list and make a new list because this is supposed to be the winter new list, but this is last winter's new list. And this is the very first list we ever had. Oh Jesus. Everything is falling apart. Cool. Make the list. They're all crossed out. Blast, 20 of us spit, fit all this shit. Pushing kit, this. Truno. Definitely oh, no. procrastinated so much. Truno loom, 20 valve fitting kit. Full UK conversion, that's still to happen. Yaris connectors, yeah. Kyle over his front and rear, yes. And Dicky Duda. Yeah. If you know, you know. So this whole list has been up here for fucking a long time. It's done. It can come off the wall. We got a new list to make. Ah. The winter new list. Finish the engine bay. Yes, cross that out. Paint the inside. Paint the subframe. Assemble the rolling shell. Rolling yeah, shell. that's there. Maybe fit the engine here or flips. We did that. Start the assembly, yes. Get tires, sit car. Barry for arches and doors. Oh, we have so not nice. done that yet. And because of uh, COVID and lockdowns and stuff, that's been delayed. You can add manifold to that. So now, now we got to, I'm just to take this off and start the new, new winter list. By just, oh. Oh no, there's <laughs> another list. The lists keep going. So I've already done that to myself. <laughs> Boom! We have no room for more lists. There's no cardboard. 
final list. This is kind of sad, actually. It will be the the final 8-6 list. Manifold, new one. Uh, fans, Barry, Finish wiring. Sorry, look at that. Foamy Guinness. Install dash, fit panels, set suspension, procrastinate. Uh, one, two, three. There'll be so much of this. Jackie for paint. This is the list so far, and this is the new, the, well, the final list actually. Ah, sure, it's, it's funnier this way. So, this is the final list. So now we are just going to work on the smaller 8.6 mm -hmm. instead of working on the big one. Because it's broke. Got the V8. How dare you put the V8 in it? I didn't, like. <laughs> the lock is not even a part that. Something. It's a Mickey Mouse engine. Mickey Mouse engine. What kind of an intake or outtake is that? Some tofu. Tofu delivery. Yeah. So I guess no progress on this for now. My manifold is cracked in like seven places. Oh. Totally fucked. Completely destroyed. So it's just fucked after buying a new manifold. So that's a bummer. Oh, Jesus. Just from that like light heat cycle of us driving it around the business park. Imagine how many times that's But I don't know, it, it seems quite like new as a manifold. There's not much yeah. like, so I don't know. What are you doing? You're putting a, oh you're right in the middle of this. Yeah. Stop uh, Shit from hitting that. Oh, no, sorry, it's not to stop anything. It's just, well, to stop uh, cold air from escaping. I wanted to come in and not pass the radiator, if that makes sense. Yes. So I'm putting louvers here to pull Suck the air, air up. back into it, yeah. Just put them behind the... Oh, yeah. So I just need to make them hold. Cool. We're doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually being productive. There's a spec R Sylvia bumper. No big deal. Slay. Slay. Very nice. Unreal. That's fantastic, a little touch for no reason. Yeah, so I guess like because of lockdown and all the kind of shit, like we've been patchy with the, the videography of what's been going on in the shed, but um, you've bought some SSR type C's. Mm. They're the forged model and you got them done in chrome. Yeah. The powder coat chrome. Powder coat chrome. How did they look on camera? They look a little bit blue, do they? Yeah, they look chromey. Yeah. And your brakes are showing off more now. You're a sucker for mismatched wheels. Yeah, they're staying on the back. So you're going to have dishes on the back and then business up front. Yeah, but I got these because I had too much camera on the front. I had five and a half degrees. So it was not, uh, it was not nice to drive. Yeah. And I was hitting the the chassis legs so okay. back to like three degrees yeah and more look at it look how much nicer all that shit has been showing off now yeah well it's function you see I, yeah it is I, the other wheels are too big they were they were just the offsets were wrong and it was an excuse to get these tires i like them more than the wheels yeah uh, we're going to talk about this and we'll talk about what the fuck is going on with this car josh loves rotary so he's trying to put a yeah this hasn't even been on the camera yet. No one knows. Josh bought this car during kind of lockdown and I wasn't really out here then. And then he drove it for about a week and then he took it apart and now it's in a million pieces and he's like doing all sorts of shit. There's rust, it's terrible. We've missed out on all of this pain, yeah, so. He's moving, he's done one, but he's moving these mm. forward. Yes. And there. replacing all this cancerous rust. So they were there. And there's the exhaust that he welded then without us around. Remember we were offering it up in I think maybe the last video, and now it's finished. Hopefully we don't have to change it now again with the fucking, with the new manifold. I don't know, I'll we'll probably just cut the manifold. Right, I'll leave you keep doing what you're doing for a while. Yeah, it'll be another half hour, I'd say. All right. Right, goodbye. See you later. Have fun. You seen last night that this was uh, cracked. So I'm just gonna put it back on the car for now. So we can put on the exhaust and just, I will deal with this further down the road. There's fuck all I can really do about it now. I might just weld it. But uh, to bed in the brakes and do other stuff, I'd like to have the manifold and the exhaust system on. So we're just going to throw it back on the car and pretend it never happened. Having no doors on the car or whatever, a lot of stones and bullshit has been flying inside. So I'm going to hoover all that shit out, put these on properly. Because I, I'd still like to drive it around the business park maybe one or two more times with no doors and shit and get some foes. But it actually just started raining in it. But I yeah, brought over the light buckets last night and stuff. 
Maybe fifties. Got the new list. The fucking new list. Oh, dead fly. Bye. HKS demo car. HKS demo car, you can see the outline in it here. If anybody wants an R32 GTSD drift car with an Army 25, this is here. This has been here for over a year. Someone just left it here. So, because they left it here, we're basically going to hot wire it and drive the fucking shit out of it. Yeah. We're cunts. I'm airing this in the tires now. We're going to air in the tank as well. <laughs> yeah, because the budget 2021, there's a, a tax rebate on air this weekend. So, all this has been filmed pre COVID. We don't know anything about COVID yet, so that's why we're not wearing masks. Yeah. This is all pre COVID. Because the videos are two years behind. Like, yeah. We don't know what's coming in the future yet. This was filmed in late, early 2019, before COVID, in case you're wondering. Press the button. All right, doggy. Look at this for an awkward system. Oh, drift, boy. Doing well now after the big clean. Yeah. Detailer is worst nightmare. This yeah. montage of you just rubbing dirt into the paint. Never ever wash cars. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Three stage, uh, Three stage, three M. <laughs> Foley was relocating his battery and he drilled through the floor in the S14. Not realizing that the tanks are like under the back seats. Yeah. So you see that? Yeah. Fit in a fuel tank and the subframe has to come out and all that. Anyway. I don't make mistakes. So this. Don't you don't. You're not a guy that makes mistakes. This is today's project. We bought this car with a hole in the fuel tank. Is that better? <laughs> Which car? <laughs> that just goes in under the engine in there. It just goes in yeah. there. New airbox air installed. <laughs> it's your vlog today, Foley. Why? Right? Your vlog. Whether you like it or not, this is the day that you became a star. <laughs> Show. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's why she sounds a bit. Let's drive it out of it. So what's happening? Oh. Uh, we're <coughs> Foley. It's his car. Alan Foley. Yeah, we own, uh, the rare character on the videos. Sometimes. Yeah. I've been in the background there. Yeah, so Foley has had this car for 50, how many years? 15 years. And it's sat here and we never really talk about it. It hasn't been sitting here for 15 no, years. No, but... <laughs> four years. Four years. Four years. Yeah. Yeah, four years. So you got the car 15 years 15 ago. 15 years ago. Stopped the far and had heads in it. Yeah. And had Shane was only a baby, he's going down in the back of the car with me there. And then I got too many thumbs as then and yeah. stuff like that, so I took it off the road for a while and I never went back on the road. So it's never been on the road since. No. So how many years is it off the road then? Ten years? Ten years. Ten years off the road. And then you brought it to a drift event three years ago. I did three laps and blew the bottom end of it. So you SR20 died. SR20 died. was dead. Yeah, I was gonna rebuild the SR20, but about two grand when the engine would be redone. Yeah. So Ruben's convinced me to get an RB. I Because Ruben likes RBs. My, ca my car convinced you to get to get. Yeah, RB. So we'll see how it goes then today now. Yeah. 
So you've been spending the last two years on and off, kind of putting yeah, the engine in, getting the car ready. Everything was different. Everything that you think would fit, didn't fit. Yeah. So 33 soft frames, yeah, yeah. RV20 engine mounts. It's four wheel four wheel drive stuff. engine. Um, so he's just been tipping away at it, and I said, yeah, I'll help you, and I'll do the wiring. Yeah. And then I fucked off for six months. For six months? <laughs> yeah, and we thought you were never coming back. <laughs> but I, I came back. Fight. I got worried. Yeah. Alan was worried, <laughs> ringing me, worried. Is Ruben going to come back and I finish me fucking back. car? But... Thank God for COVID, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, there's no such thing as COVID, yeah. Oh, yeah no, there is, yeah. COVID. But yeah, so trying to spend the last while just wiring up the car. And yeah. Trying an Orbi 25 Neo now with... Uh, it's all wired in and kind of tidy. Yeah. Apart from that, but uh, nice. Yeah, so RB25 Neo instead of the Series Two or Series One engines. Kind of so looks at home there. It actually looks like it was made for it. Like if you didn't know anything about cars, you would just look in and go, "There's an engine in there." We make up our own engine mounts as well. It's offset. Uh, 35 mil back and 30 mil down as well, so I sit underneath the top of it. Oh, okay, yeah, right, the top of it is seen going across there. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. The and there's an RB20 gearbox in it, because okay. they're great. How many of those have you broken now? Five in that car. No, this so you've car, actually. This car is really, really, really clean. It is. It's, it's probably it's one of the cleanest S14s in Ireland because it hasn't been on the road much. Dry, dry stored last and 10 it's years. been dry stored for the last 10 years. So it went from being like something you were close to selling during the recession because you were like, ah, fuck it, I'm giving up on cars. Before I got married, I was going to sell bits and pieces, but. I didn't. Very happy you no, kept it. And you're happy you kept yeah. it. And now S14s are very rare in Ireland because they've all been crashed and wrecked. I actually forget what I have. I don't in drifting. Really yeah, yeah. we all forget what you have because it's just been on axle stands. There's a big weight here. for. These, these things really went down in value like five or six years ago in yeah. Ireland. I could have sell about five grand. Yeah. yeah. And now it's probably worth 15. 15, 16 now. grand when it's... When it's back to the way yeah, it is. Nice, off Neil there as well, yeah. the wheels. nice wheels from JDM Distro JDM engine. Distro. And you already have everything on this is genuine. All genuine Eurus Aero. Yeah. No replica stuff. No, you bought everything no drift forks, no proper. Drift forks, no. Everything's IKEA formula and expensive goodies. So it's it's like it's going to be no, they're all above. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Body club coilovers <clears throat> that came <laughs> to us. <laughs> and it has a work emotion. CRKs, yeah. CRK, CRKAI, CRK. <laughs> It's like it's 99% done. Oh, yeah, talk about this because we couldn't hear when the skyline was on. So, we were doing all the wiring and stuff and rerouting battery cables. And I thought uh, this I is under the back seat in, yeah, yeah. in the S14. You wouldn't think it goes that far. Most Nissans are R32s, and even my car, the, the tank is under the rear in, in the boot floor. So you yeah, you think when that's, <clears throat> that's at, at the back for the boat, you think that the rest of the tank is behind yeah. it. Yeah. But so it wraps under. It was just a little mistake. A so what were you doing? You were mounting in your fire extinguisher? Sure. Me battery box. So no room. Okay. No room in the engine for the, right. for the battery. So real was had to put it behind the seat. And you I, drill, didn't, I didn't tell you. To you drill through the floor and into your fuel tank. Well, in fairness, the floor is like just like a couple of mil above this. Yeah. And the drill bit makes hole in plastic when you drill into it <laughs> and that's why there's a holder and we contemplated filling it up or putting a bit of epoxy or something on it You're probably just and then it might work but like then if it doesn't then it seeps out through it or reacts in a few months time yeah it wouldn't be great wouldn't it you're a drift day and it's at the bottom of the tank and the subframe has to come out again it's just, that's the problem with these tanks the subframe has to come out in an S14 that's and it's not it's it's bollocks it's not too bad if you have a lift, but we don't have lifts. No. Well, there's one there now. But we don't have that it's lift. Not we don't have the luxury. I mean, if you're from China, I can't know. <laughs> if you manufacture lifts or distribute lifts, my God, we would love you to lift us up. <laughs> Two post lift, four post lift. All Two phase, tools. four phase, 12 phase. Please, sponsor, sponsors, lift. It's a bit of a pain in the hole on the ground, but that's what... That's, that's, what that's what we know. Two of you were in the other shed next to Dougie and the other lads. So you had the Nissan shed and they had the Toyota shed. Yeah. And you were building that and this is in that there was, as well. That was built when I was living on the road. Like everything yeah. was done. I was trying to get it done when I finished working to go to the garage. It's great. You can't even see him because the light is so tense. It just yeah. get whatever. It looks like something out of a... It looks like a fucking... Like a, a video, <laughs> like, like a music video. You're the only one out of all of us that has kids and a family. Yeah. The rest of us have all... Now you need another I light. see his face though. <laughs> <laughs> now we can see his face. <laughs> yeah, but you're the only one out of us that has the real life. The rest of us are still acting the fucking bollocks out here. We don't, we don't have any kids because, well, first of all, we're afraid to have sex. And, and just you're a bit sterile. Nervous, a bit nervous about that whole process still. Yeah. 
I like, just went straight in. He went straight into the fucking package. Yeah. Yeah. No. I was trying to put door yeah. bars door in bars. my yeah, S13, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was sure yeah. I can't. I'm not yeah. no use with my hands. Like, but Foley was like, well, bye. Well, bye. Well, bye. What story? Who are you? Uh, you from Wicklow, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a welder, bye. Do you want me to weld door bars into your S13? Did you weld them in? Yeah. Start with, and he was, I think it got a bit of a shock I could deal with, is it? Yeah. You don't look like a welder, though. <laughs> yeah, and, you and still have the skills. Yeah, I, 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 I can't weld still, even like I won't pretend I can. Even but, though he's yeah, so you welded you know. the door bars into my S13. That's like 12 years ago. Yeah, it is. And, uh, and now you're here. Yeah. I guess we just help each other out. Like, not do we? Us, but like everyone for yeah. years and years. Like, if you don't do it now, you'd never do it. No. These things are getting more and more expensive. The RBs, like. Everything. Yeah. This is kind of like the next few years, is it? Yeah. After that, then we'll all have to just give up. Uh, yeah. Never. <laughs> it's just everything becomes unaffordable for us. Ah, yeah, but we've like, a shed full of it. Yeah, I know, but this is why we've been into this shit over the years, because we can afford it. But we won't be able to. Yeah, we're going to get priced out of our own hobby. Yeah, we are because of laws. These are the reason why these are fun is because they're the everyday man's toy to play with, and That's we won't be the everyday man anymore. It would have been the same in Japan. These are affordable cars, but now we'll be priced out of it. And the people who are going to end up having these cars are people, are people who have who don't actually really want them or love them. Like it's just an asset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cool, it's or it's grand, a, is it to have yeah, it is. It's people like middle class people that have plenty of money. It's there. an investment, or it's cool Instagram yeah. points or whatever. You wouldn't be doing this if it was an investment because you've messed with the classic heritage of the car. But yeah. we don't give a shit about things like that. But the only thing I'm missing off that is the viscous fan. The only thing that wouldn't fit. Wheels aren't on. Yeah, yeah and green. the front bumper is missing as well. Yeah. And uh, the intercooler pipe is missing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's the only missing. Thing. There's something missing here. That's only for AR, but that's all. Right. Mesh. Just on on the subject, the things are yeah, missing. Yeah, strip, strip brace is missing. <laughs> Battery is missing. <laughs> That's all. Like you're very mis- misguided. Yeah, so like it wouldn't really, you know, be a classic, like, you know, investment for someone that wants to make a few pounds in the future. Hopefully, Hopefully we get this driving today, and even if it's in a month's time, we'll just pretend it was today. Yeah, yeah we'll all and wear the same clothes the same and no one will know. That's all I have anyway. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks, Alan, for talking on the camera, finally. Like, subscribe, follow him, uh, harass him, ask him if he's going to sell it, ask him if he's going to sell everything. He's got a few bits for sale over here. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, look. Fucking starting. Starter mowers for an SR. Are you starting, are you? Gearboxes. Gearboxes, everything, you name it. If you need Anton for Sylvie's, give him a shout. Here's his phone number. Oh, look. So Ruben has never crashed any of his own cars, (laughs) but he crashed yours. Hey, Ruben, do you want to go in my car? I really don't think this is funny and I really hope you're not going to bother putting it in the video. Like, I am. This is just childish. No, we will. Piss off. See ya. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, yeah, I would always yeah. keep it. It's the nicest shit ever, Sean. Ikea sure. Formula. All oh, Ikea Formula. Very Buddy Jap- One, Buddy Club. Very Japanese car. This is, and these are like, got these like 10 or 15 years ago. All the stuff that people yeah, are well, wanking over there. now. <laughs> so Foley would have seen this seat <clears throat> the first day he met me. Yeah. So that seat. Me and you have been together yeah. for long, long time. Fifteen pre, years. Pre-COVID, anyway. COVID is coming. COVID. I, I, oh, I have it. Because this came, this fuel tank came out a few weeks ago, so you know there's a load of pipes and stuff. So I put a cable tie on this, you know, as you do, lads. Yeah. Because you know, and you put a mark on this. This should be on there. I'm gonna loosen this here. Did you get in the boot? Hang on, you're ripped. Ah, oh, no, you're not. I am ripped, man. I've been ripped for like six months. Oh, man, you fuck, I didn't even know this. You should start wearing like tighter vests well, to show off. You see, I'd be afraid someone would come on to me then and I'd lose my virginity. And I'm just so nervous about that. Yeah. It's been a big concern of yours for as long as we've known each other as well. Yeah. So, any of you guys that are looking to have sex with me? Here's his phone number. No, 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 no phone. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. It was built in seven days. Yeah. My father named her Eileen. My father named me Ben. And my father named my mother Jacqueline Dover. But yeah, my father didn't name his wife. Nice. Fit in the subframe. Take off them nuts. Look, here, off. Which one's real? Who do you want her to do? Oh, right. Is that okay? Yeah, it's grand, like ish. It needs to come over to me, does it? It does, so you can kind of slide it across. Press it up, now. Only three, two, one, to me. Now, there you go. 
It's oh. clean underneath, isn't it? Yeah, it's spotless. Jesus. Look, look, genuine aero. You don't see that very often. Your pockets, the most important thing of all. Pockets are the pockets are absolutely fucking lutely mint. Look how clean those pockets are. Maybe. Needs to go. Yeah. Maybe take out them coilovers. Yeah. Now. Maybe. All good. Keep going. We'll, uh, we'll just put this back on for now. <laughs> Took the stuff down last night. The, there's less and less boxes of fucking car. Up here, hi. There's more and more ends up in it. I've got less fucking shit in storage. Yes, so it's the old headlight box, which contains the old headlights and the old frames, which I'll paint up today. Get that stuff ready. I'm gonna paint the uh, inner light buckets for these new ray brakes to sit into so we can fit them into these and uh, maybe a few other little bits that we might have missed. Fuck. Uh, an hour later. An hour later, yeah. <laughs> sure, no one will know that. And, uh, oh, yeah, look at the little Jaff thing with Enios on it, yeah. She's a big tank. She is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not long now for the big start. There's supposed to be a little bit of tread here on the back of the frame for the headlamp, but uh, we zapped them off about three years ago when we were trying to take these out. So now we have to make this work with a small M4 with a through here and then tack the nut on the back so it holds the nice frame on. Like, so getting Shit. welded. Wonder. Shit. Cool. The car will have eyes again. I'm going to tack this on so then we can grab the headlights. We're going to use my old headlights before so we can do it so we don't fucking damage these. Yeah, bring it over to Josh because Josh is welding his S15 and is miserable. Nice. Let's go down to flips and bully Josh into welding these. The Prius machine. The most boring but comfortable car I've ever had. Power of the Prius! Yeah. Oh, These nuts. Ah. So, we actually accidentally zapped off the treads on these brackets many moons ago. So you need to just do a little zzz, zzz on each of the M4 nuts in the back of these so we can hold on my headlights. And I heard you were over here. And Brian Duggan said it was a great time. So you were over there? Yeah, the whole time. Perfect time for you to talk about what the fuck you're doing here. So this is great. You bought this and it was never even in the videos yet. And it drove around for about two weeks. You bought some nice wheels. It was a really nice car with a spec R kit. You went up the country to buy it. And then now it looks like this. Yeah, replace the many pieces of metal. Yeah, so you pulled the Barry on it yourself because you, yeah. you have the skills also. Well, I asked Barry, but my patience yeah. ran out. Not with Barry, but wanting it done. Yeah, you just want to move on. Yeah. So I've seen here you've moved this tub forward. Yeah, but I tried on my wheels with the locket and it didn't fit. It so, just didn't turn. So I had to do something. So yeah, Nissans, especially of this generation, have like no seam sealer on them whatsoever from factory. So anywhere where there's a, a join, there's, there's, just, there's just nothing. Which is grand because it's just a mass produced car, but it's fine in like Japan, but Ireland is fucking awful. So this car has rusted everywhere quite badly over the last few years in Ireland and it was a lot worse than you thought it was when you took it apart then. Yeah, you know, they just look like bubbles when you see them and you're like, yeah. oh, just all the same kind of spots where the seams gather, same like on the 86. So you've cut it all out, you've done all this, mm. this, this, yeah. 
here. You haven't done down here yet. No. So you've been writing the ticket this time for the last few weeks. That's where it was. Yeah, and now it's gonna go Very nice. Give you the clearance you deserve. Absolute misery. Yeah. Went from being on such a high because you had this on the road and it was lovely and you're happy with it. And this was gorgeous and on the road and now that's broke and now this is completely fucked. They were both gorgeous fucked. on the road at the same time. Yeah, I have like two pictures of this. You can get a nice photo of it. I will. Right. <laughs> it's in stock, ready to rock. I'm excited about this now. Carl have like things. So I'm going to go back over now and, and get the headlight mowers cool working and stuff. Well, here we are looking for one. Isn't it great? Just the amount of misery that we just get into. And it's like 60% of a very nice S15. And what's great is this came with the Spec R kit, which is what everyone would want. It's, it's like what people would finish with with a car and you're taking that all off and going another route with the car. So all those like OEM kind of purist lads are going to fucking hate you because it's not what I just you thought. want a big trampy drift slot car with yeah, loads yeah. of glitter and chrome. Because that's what you look at. Right, thanks. COVID-19 is here. Touch. Ah. I'm going to go now and I'll see you in a little while. But Josh over welded and actually welded the whole thing together so it doesn't actually even need the nut or bolt. He's actually melted the outer frame to the back retainer. Light bucket. Lamp bucket? So you probably can't see it too well on the old fisheye here, but they're they're stuck together. So now I'll have to try to figure out a way of getting that off without damaging what's happened what we got done. Tedious surgery with a melted flat disc. Almost has a face again. I went to get burgers for a barbecue. Which one was meant to be up and which is meant to be down? Oh shit, I don't remember. <laughs> Someone in the comments will let us know. Driver's one is up, yeah? No, passenger one up. The oh yeah, then it was the passenger one, yeah. The driver's one work. This is great, this is... I think any more Irish than this. It's absolutely... hissing rain out. And we're still having a barbecue. Oh, oh, oh yeah! We don't give a shit about the weather because it's always raining. Ooh, shit. Oh shit! Oh, good save. The old weather won't stop us anymore. We've moved to gas. No more brake cleaner. Fitting the master booster stopper cylinder. Master booster blaster. Master blaster booster stopper cylinder. By not sticking out, it's By different. not sticking out, it's different, but that makes it the exact same as everyone else. Cusco booster, master stopper, cylinder breaker. Cusco brace bars. Brace brace. Brace guard. New pieces of joy. Yeah. It's nice that it still works, even though it was modified for the supercharger. Or... Supercharger? Oh, nice now. It kind of hides the scratch. Right, so this is mounted to the strut top. Yeah. This obviously can float and is adjustable. Yeah. So you have to lock this fella down, tighten this in, and then you lock him down with these two little six mil. Okay, bolts. to finish it off then, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's just, right. So it's just to get everything kind of in a happy zone. That should make a more solid pedal feel as well because the firewall flex, well, they won't be like massive, but there's well, it's a definitely fair old flex on the firewall. Oh, no, but you'll notice now it's yeah, okay. stop it. Nice. Where are you going, Ralph? <laughs> it's like you've done something really wrong. The old firewalls on the 86 are kind of like made of tin foil, so when you press on the brake, the whole booster and everything flexes like a good few millimeters. Yeah, it doesn't flex at all really anymore. You can see the, the cylinder moving is small. Yeah, yeah, but like it used to like little, yeah. move, the whole thing used to move. Does it feel a bit better as well, or is it just. Uh, it feels a bit funny, but. Does it? Yeah. I don't know. Definitely feels a lot. feel like anything because it almost has a front face thing again oh you have the little uh, lads in yeah ramrod ramrod so which one is the one that i bought off ebay is it this one? Oh yeah because this is the one that wasn't working we've replaced this with a mr2 one that was purchased off ebay body color so the lights are not going up and down and it's because in a truno loom they all have this blue box which should be attached to them and that's what makes the lights retract. So if you've got 11 
and you make it try to look like a Truno and it doesn't work, it's most likely because of a blue box and other things. And blue box and the other relay outside. Yes. And this. So it's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Light control. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, oh. Ooh. All see right. That, see that? That one's not right, look what? Yeah. It goes, it goes, up, it goes down first, look. Always wrong, baby. Yeah. Um, one of the relays is missing. Why would that be? Because the, the arm isn't on the right spline on the motor. Remember how I said it came? Oh, so you'll have to, I'll have to keep. This is why, the same with the wiper motors, the new But there's not too many combinations with this, oh, is there? Look at these boys spinning. Yeah, I love that. Oh. That's great. Yeah, Just there two working headlights. <laughs> it's good and it's sad. Go. Just break one Some forever. Speed. Yeah, look. Oh, <laughs> holy Do that again. That's fucking mental. <laughs> it burned. <laughs> Take the fucking. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I just used my nail. It burned. Do it again. <laughs> ah. So now I have to move this around on the splines till it yeah, comes up. Just to get it right. That's a lot of combinations, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really. It's either one one way or one the other way. So now, they're all. So this guy here. Yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was loose. So you need to loosen off that stop. See, this one is actually is it flush on this yeah, one. Yeah, and it's this one is like fucking way down. I know they look level to me. <laughs> Ninety-five. They're off by one degree. It's a lot though. It can mean the world. Man.